Hey, it's Frankie Cola. Today I want to talk to you about three weird reasons the girl that used to like you lost interest in you. So an amazing girl used to like you, but she lost interest in you. She lost attraction for you and now you want to get it back. You worry you'll never have her. You fear she's spending time with some other guy. You've lost your appetite and she's all you can think about. So your brain starts spinning and you start thinking of ways to make her like you. And then you start searching online, which is why you are here now watching this video. How do you fix this? How do you make her like you again? In this video, I want to talk to you about the reasons the girl you like lost interest. You'll learn secrets about female psychology that you probably haven't heard of before. And then I'll lay out a plan that gives you the best chance of getting her back. So if you're in this situation, you'll want to pay close attention to this. Okay, so let's talk about three reasons she lost interest in you. First one is pursuing too much when she fades away. Now this has happened to me before plenty of times. And what happens is this. At some point, when you start seeing the girl or talking to the girl, she might go cold and act a bit distant. Now it may not always happen, but it does happen a lot that you need to be aware of this. Something seems off and you feel in your stomach that something is seriously wrong. So you feel like you have to do something to fix it. Something to get her back. But that only makes things worse. See, when a woman distances herself from you, she seeks space. Getting space from you is what causes her to then come back when you do it because the space creates potential for her missing you and longing you and it causes her to reach out. It makes her come back to you. But if you crowd her space, you stop the process from ever happening. So she backs away even more and more because she has lost more attraction. So you gotta allow the process to happen. The second reason a girl fades away is that you're trying to do everything for her. Now this one is kind of like a trap because when you really like a girl you have this urge to do all these things for her. But that's actually a really big mistake. And so when you're trying to do everything for a girl, you're trying to solve all her problems, you're doing too many favors for her, you're always being there for her, and you're basically trying to be her superman. And all of this comes from possessive thinking. Because when there's a girl you deeply care about, your fantasy is that you are everything for her. So you try to be her everything guy. You offer to fix her car, help her with her math homework, do errands for her, those kind of things. In the surface, it's cool to do those things. It's really cool to do those things. You're a really nice guy. But the thing is that she'll feel all this pressure when you're always offering to do everything for her. And she'll start to feel smothered. And her natural reaction will be to seek freedom. So that's why she becomes distant because she needs some space. This is especially true if you're not together in an official relationship with her yet. So you gotta watch out for this. Now, it's okay to do favors for her, but as long as she's also doing things for you, you gotta make sure there's a balance. Now here's something that might happen, and this is very tricky, so listen up. In the beginning stages of a relationship, before you are her quote-unquote official boyfriend, she may ask for a big favor. And this is a big test that some women do on men. So what you gotta do here is politely decline her offer. See, she has friends and other guys who are orbiting her who can easily help her. So she doesn't need you to save her. And the bottom line is that doing big favors for a woman doesn't make her more attracted to you. That's why this is a big nice guy mistake. Because the nice guy thinks that doing these big favors will win the girl over. But it's not true at all. Remember this quote. We like people who we do things for, not people who do things for us. Again, we like people who we do things for, not people who do things for us. So if she's doing things for you, she's going to be more attracted to you. And if you're doing things for her, you're going to be more attracted to her. Now this sounds like we're playing games, but it's really a matter of how human brains process the perceived value of other people. So again, if she asks you for something really big in the beginning stages of dating, like, hey, I'm moving to a new apartment, like she wants you to help her move next week, have you only been on two dates with her, you gotta politely decline and let the other friends in her life help her out. Or other guys who wanna date her, but who are always gonna be in the friend zone because they're doing too, way too much for her. Relationships are based on respect. She cannot be attracted to you and fall in love with you if she doesn't respect you. And if you do a huge favor for them, like wax her car after your first date, she's going to lose respect for you. And therefore, she's going to lose attraction for you as well. Now, once she's your official girlfriend, then you can do big favors for her. But before you get to that stage, 
politely decline. If you're doing all the work, she'll feel that you like her way more than she likes you. Because you're doing all these things for her. She'll feel pressure that she has to do things back. She'll feel guilty that she isn't doing as much. And then she will rationalize and say things like, I'm not ready for a relationship. I don't have time for a relationship. I need time to think. We are moving too fast. So make sure there's a balance. And if you are going to do a favor for her, make sure she's also doing a favor for you. Next, here's a mindset I want you to have. Think more like you're her lover and not like you're her boyfriend. And that leads us to the third reason she loses interest, and that's that you're playing the boyfriend role too much. Now I get it. You're afraid of losing what you have with her. In your mind, you want to tell yourself she's still yours, so you want to do everything in your power to keep the status quo. However, if you try to make the relationship all serious and official, you're going to run into trouble because it puts pressure on her if you do it too soon. And this is another nice guy mistake to think that if you do more boyfriend things, it will make her want you as her boyfriend. But those boyfriend qualities tend to decrease attraction if you do them too soon when she's not ready. She will feel the pressure because you want the relationship more than her. Like you want it too much. And the consequence will be the same as the previous mistake. She's going to say she's not ready for a relationship or I don't deserve you. Or she's going to say that you're rushing things. She's going to say stuff like that. So action steps. So, okay, what do you do now that she's lost interest? What can you actually do now? Let's say you made all these mistakes and you can't go back to the past. What do you do now with the situation you have right now? Here's what you got to do. First, don't contact her until she reaches out. And when she does, make plans to meet. And when you meet, remember those previous mistakes that we just covered right now. In the meantime, as you are going no contact, go out with other women socialize with other people focus your mind on other things like school work hobbies other friends and again other women focus your mind on other women that way your mind isn't just focus on her and taking this path is what gives you the best chance of reattracting her again and making her want you again which makes her contact you which gives you a chance to create a date to make plans to meet and act in an attractive manner with her once again so this is Frankie Cola, hope you enjoyed this video and be on the lookout for the next one.